mapping and things like that. And uh, the Yamahas, I know they've got uh, uh, mapping devices. They can pretty much trigger what they want in terms of uh, the power delivery on these bikes nowadays. They plug them into a laptop and they get the power curve that they want. But in terms of start, uh, the KTMs, they have a little switch on the left-hand side. They can have map one and map two for the start. Roman Febvre's Yamaha has the same. The Hondas also have something similar, but according to Roger Harvey, they're only pretty much, once they've uh, decided what they want to use throughout the weekend, that's it. But the KTMs, they can, if they want to, they can just switch it between modes as and whenever they want to. But Febvre, again, having to deal with back markers, you can just sense the frustration now from Roman Febvre. Oh, he's in a great position here at the end of the straight to go inside and then across the turn, almost into the rear wheel of Bobrashev. Has no choice but to follow around the outside. That inside there is just too steep on the entry, but Fevra's going to have to go straight here and muscle his way down the inside of the Russian. Keeps it clean. Bounces as he goes single, single, loses about a half a bike length. And this one is definitely on between Bobrashev and Roman Fevra.